Big East baseball off to a bang here in our first elimination game. Ryan Bush with a leadoff home run for Georgetown against Seton Hall. Fifth pitch of the game, and the Hoyas already with the early 1-0 lead. Little did they know that would be all they would manage against Anthony Alia. Yeah, just two runs scored for the Hoyas in their two games here in Omaha. And Matt Hollenbeck early on with control issues for the Hoyas. Bottom of the first, DJ Ruhlman ties the game 1-1 one, one on one of four wild pitches on the day from Hoyas starter Matt Hollenbeck. And then it's Ryan Ramiz with the RBI triple to right field in the bottom of the fourth inning. That scores Sal and and he would score on a wild pitch later on in the inning, and you see Anunziata trotting in there, and the Seton Hall offense really just taking advantage of mistakes and miscues by the Georgetown pitching staff, starting with Hollenbeck. Yeah, that just didn't have his best stuff, left a lot of pitches in the dirt. Like we said, four wild pitches for the Hoyas. And then you see it's DJ Ruhlman once again, but robbed by Bo Hall in center field, and. Now, no robbing this one here by Sal Anunziata. Sal Anunziata puts one in the center field seats, something we've never seen before at TD Ameritrade Park, Omaha. Look at that blast. His sixth home run of the year is he had a big day. Yeah, that was a big part of the Seton Hall rally, and certainly this guy right here, Anthony Alia, the biggest part of Seton Hall, shutting the door on the Hoyas all afternoon. Complete game, four hitter, career high, nine strikeouts. After the game, he told us it was the highlight of his college career thus far. Well, good performance from Aaliyah, but certainly a great day for this young man as New York Life sponsoring the Big East Baseball Championships, and they'll have the New York Life first pitch before all these games. And now certainly a great afternoon of baseball, and also for this young man, a lot of memories created. Yeah, more than 2,400 fans here to see it as Seton Hall lives to play another day as they close out the victory over fourth seed at Georgetown. Yeah, Seton Hall will have a rematch against Creighton in the elimination game on Saturday afternoon. That's a 3.30 p.m. start right here on the Big East Digital Network. For Kim Adams, John Fanta, and Rob Anderson, I'm Thor Tripp. We'll see you right back here on Saturday afternoon.